time for your pinpoint weather and traffic together. Michelle Muscatella joins us now, and uh, you know we gotta we gotta give you an apology, Michelle. Patrick and I have been like little gnats this morning, going, "Is it gonna snow? What's going on for Sunday? We just want to know what's up." Yeah, I know it's uh, it's hard to wait and yeah. be patient, but it's still too early at this point yeah. to really say with any certainty uh, what sort of impact we're going to see from possibly an ocean storm that'll be traveling south and east of our area on the second half of the weekend. Right now, though, we're still talking about cold temperatures as our top weather headline. We're at 18, Providence 16, and Smithfield 15 degrees in Worcester right now. It is starting to be a little bit milder at the coastline. We're in the 20s there. Martha's Vineyard out at 24, Hyannis at about 21 degrees. Only single digit wind chills though, Smithfield and Providence, five above in Worcester, 16 is what it feels like in Westerly. And these are the sort of temperatures heading out in uh, the morning that you need to dress for if you're still going on that morning walk or going out to pick up the paper. Weather headlines, a frigid start, then the cold eases a little bit. So we start, do start to notice a difference, certainly by this afternoon. Now the Sunday storm system that Danielle and Pat have been hounding me about, it's still a possibility. There's still a lot of options on the table in terms of what sort of impact we could have. And I'll talk about that in more detail. But live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar over Rhode Island, southeastern Mass. It's been a pretty quiet night. We've seen a passing flurry in a few spots. Most of the action has been off the coastline. That should be the trend for the daytime today. Some sun, some clouds. Uh, but temperature is about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. So Kelly in Westport, 18. She says it's brisk and it's chilly out there this morning. Jerry and Warren has some clouds around at 21. And Brian in Middletown, uh, cold and breezy, 18 degrees uh, for there. Winds are overall, though, lighter in most communities than it was yesterday. And we do start to see a change in the wind direction to the southwest. And that is a nice, milder wind for us. It'll help boost those temperatures up. Now, out ahead of the weekend storm, there's already another little clipper system that's moving across the nation. You can see some snow, some sleet, and some rain with this low pressure center. It looks like it's going to stay south. Now, it may just brush our coastline, though, tomorrow morning early pre-dawn with a few flurries. So a frigid start, about 16 to 22 for temperatures at the bus stop. Then as you head home from school, not quite as cold, about 30 to 34 under partly to mostly sunny skies. So we take you through your future cast. You can see quite a bit of sunshine giving way to some extra clouds by later in the day, or certainly this evening and tonight. Overnight, we start off before midnight with dry skies. And then this is a future cast here bringing just the very outer edges, of maybe some light snow showers or flurries to parts of the Cape and Buzzards Bay and maybe even the Rhode Island South Coast. Sky's clear though tomorrow. We get back to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. About 34 for a high today in Newport, 33 in Coventry. Northern suburbs, your highs close to 30. Burrowville, 32 in Johnston. Mainly sunny, still a little chilly. Average high is 42. We're closer than we were yesterday, but we're still running well below average in Seekonk at 33. A sun and cloud mix in Middletown and Little Compton at about 34 degrees. Let me take a look at uh, some snow statistics for you because it's been a pretty quiet December. Earliest measurable snow was back on October 10th of 1979, and our average first measurable snow is right around the 10th of December. We've had a few traces, but no measurable snow so far this season. Seven-day future cast, clearing skies, 36 for Friday, Saturday at 37, and then Sunday. Yeah, we're still watching it possible that we could see at least a little bit of snow. Most of our computer models, most of them still have it far enough out that we don't get a major blow from this storm, but it is still 40.